Remember the embarrassing, pissy, and yellow ripped, torn <laughs> friggin' flags that were flopping about a couple of weeks ago? They've got well, them. they're all brand new. It's four clean sheets and only one defeat in five. Yeah, but it's also only one win in 11, Paul. And in the last five games, we've had three nil-nils. Aye, but are you a glass half full or a glass half empty? Oh, you know me, Paul. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Well, happy days then. <laughs> right, everybody. Welcome to the match preview for West Bromwich Albion versus Sutherland AFC down at the Hawthorns on Saturday. Are you going to tell them? Tell them what? That you'll not be there? I'll, I'll not be there on the live stream. I've got plans. whoop de do. You know what I mean? I'm not talking to you anyway, you keep on stitching us up. <laughs> I tell you what, if you want to know what Scuba Steve means, join our Facebook page, well, group it is, Gilesy and Steve. It's, it's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. What can I just point out? I, there's, there's people got laughing and taking the mick and all that, right? But there's a few nasty comments on there I've noticed as well. <laughs> it's a good job, I've got thick skin. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's class though, it's funny as hell. Right then, Steve, and we'll uh, obviously talk about the Leeds game. Yes, we're going to talk about the Leeds game. a good place to start. Right, yes, Leeds on Tuesday night. It was nil nil. Leeds came at it, they came at us, it meant a lot more to them, they've got stuff to play for, we haven't. Aye. They came at us and they came at us, but tactically, Dodge got it spot on. The formation he played was spot on. Players that came in that haven't played, like Pembele for example, he made his first start, thought he was superb. Uh, our whole back line and midfield worked the socks off, we frustrated Leeds and you could see that we're getting more and more frustrated during the game. And if you're saying our, our fans were tremendous down there, you could hear them non stop. Oh, and the play. Players were buzzing after the, the end of the game. They've never lost at Ellen Road all season, so we knew it was going to be a hard game. But we've got a draw, we've got a point on the road against plus arguably one of the best, well, arguably the best team in the league. Uh, we had to dig a certain job down there, there was no good gone for it and, and big and open because they would have carved us apart. Oh, definitely. But th th their main instruction was give it to Somerville. A bit like what when we give it to Clark. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought Jack Clark was outstanding as well, simply because he, he relieved a lot of pressure off our defence. He carried the ball, he ran where it loved and it, it got, got us up the pitch. Dan they low, mate, and all. Oh, he was he was sublime. Oh, he was but, sublime. 100%. Well, I, I, on the live stream, I, I said he was my man of the match. Um, he, he, the work he was doing in midfield, he was he was getting the ball and bringing forward. He was tackling. He was getting back. He was trapped back. He was putting in last ditch tackles. Um, it, it was, it was, some of his footwork was tremendous oh, as well. Was on it. Well, he was. Right, he was. Right. It was a joy to watch. He really was. And I mean, there, there, was, there was quite a few players who, who played very, very well. Like I said, the whole back line. Uh, Patterson didn't even need to be there. Luke O'Neill and then Dan Ballard were uh, tremendous. I, I, but. but <laughs> no, no. It's a crowd scene, difficult maybe for the referee to see. Oh, but that is clearly... Oh, there's no buts because the referee didn't give them <laughs> no, all. No, he right? didn't. The hand of God. <laughs> the, hand, the hand, the hand, cool hand Luke. Uh, cool hand Luke. Cool hand oh, Luke. But listen, I mean, the Ballard one, he lent out like that and then you seen him put his He's elbow like out. that. So that was a blatant <laughs> penalty, but if you're out there, if the ref doesn't see it, he can't give it. Is, but and it's, then it's, it's one stupidity was, by Luke Roy. He's got to cut that out. The rest didn't see it. Oh, it was he went, The fact that Luke O'Neill then walked away shaking his hand. <laughs> well, that was blatantly obvious what he did. I know. Well, it, for me, the game, Stephen, we had a job to do, and Dodds, Le Leeds must hate them, mustn't they? Right, right, Leeds hate us, we hate them. They must hate well, Dodds. We've, we've took four points, off the, off, put four points off him this season. Dodds tactically got it right at the stadium, and then he tactically got it right at Ellen Road. Um, yeah, we didn't get the win down there, but we got the draw. Mm. Which was which meant more to us than them, and it's simple as that. Aye, but Stephen, I tell you what, all in all, I was happy with the performance, mate. I've seen a lot of negativity regarding it, um, that we didn't create much. We stopped them, they only had one shot, and I didn't even think that was a proper shot on target in any way. We had more shots than them in the we game. Did, we did, because we, we sat, I wouldn't say we sat back, we, we knew it was going to be a tough game, we knew they were going to win us, we defended our asses off, and we went, for, we went to get them on the counter, and like Aye. I said, we, we ended up creating more clear-cut chances than what they did. We had more shots on target. They keep made some uh, some good saves. There was a few occasions where Clark maybe could have passed it instead of shooting. Um, there was a few where there was a chance I remember where Robert should have hit it from the edge of the box, but instead right. he tried to do something else. But look, if, well, we, in, in comparison to performances we've we've, we've, we've right. witnessed over the last however many months, oh. uh, it's it was it was a breath of fresh air, and it was it was good to see us going against them and. Listening to the fans at the end singing Leeds, Leeds are falling apart, apart again. again. No, it was quite know. funny. It was like we were very organised, we were disciplined in defence. Like you say, we stopped them from having shots. And it was a good performance. Now then, Stephen, the news regarding players. 
The, like you were saying, the vultures are circling. They are. They are. We all know. We, we all. We all know who's linked with with leaving us in the summer. Yeah. And let's say it is part of the. I'm not going to say it, but you know what word fits in there. <laughs> this summer's going to be huge for us. We're going to be. We're going to be selling players. We're going to be bringing players in. How the money's invested is of vital importance, and we need. It needs to be done right. That's that's the main thing. Yep. Obviously, you've got Patterson. He's been heavily linked with uh, Liverpool, Arsenal and Celtic. And apparently they were all there on Saturday watching the Bristol City game. Liverpool and Arsenal had representatives mm. there watching them. Um, also on Patterson, he's played 109 games in a row, in, like, including wow. playoffs and leagues. Wow. Um, so I think he's got only played at the I think, I think, uh, there's only, I think he's in the top four Southern players to ever do it. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, Try Hume, Villa and Leeds are sniffing around him. and they surprised with that They're one, linking yeah. him with about, like, they're saying, eight million, eight and a half million. Oh, from the goal. I, I would push at least ten, personally. But, um, and also, Trey Hume, he's got the most tackles by quite a distance in the Championship this season. Made for me, we'll pay 200,000 from Linfield, and that will be an absolute, a really good investment on, on your money, really. But for me, personally, I, I, I kind of, we're kind of be selling... We're kind of be selling Hume, anyway. Eh? Well, let's see. If this is the way they're going to do things, and let's see, we are going to win the championship next season. We know that. Um, if Premier League teams come sniffing, it's hard to keep all the players when, oh, you, when, oh, you, when you're totally, in the league below. Totally. Uh, Jack Clark, uh, the teams that's after him is every fucker. <laughs> so, you know, I think we've all accepted the fact that we're going to be losing him in the summer. Uh, Job, Lazio, Spurs, and Villa are sniffing around him. Apparently, I, I read today that Lazio have actually already put wheels in motion. Villa? <coughs> no. I cannot say, I know, but I'm saying, oh, no, yeah, he's, can't he's say Job been, gone now. No, he's just been leaked. Oh, definitely you know what I mean? not. Imagine definitely that. Not. They've been yellowed. <laughs> also, Ballard and, ba Ballard, Ballard. That's, that's the song. Ballard and Neil, uh, they've also been linked with potential moves away, but no teams have actually been mentioned. I think West Ham was mentioned with Ballard um, in the summer, but nothing's been mentioned yet. But that, them are probably our six mm. top potential prospects of leaving in the summer. Uh, to, to be honest, mate, um, there's no surprise clubs are looking at them players because them are well, like they were key players this uh, this season. Aye, right, West Brom, uh, get the ball a bit out of the way first. They've won 20, drew 12, lost 10. They're currently fifth in the league. They've scored 66, conceded 41, with a goal difference of 25. In the last five games, they've won, drew, 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 won, um, but they're unbeaten in the last 10 games. They haven't. They've only lost one game in 14 as well. And that was against Southampton. It was. I saw you. Yeah. You, Forgive that one. Got 72 points, like Stephen was saying. There's seven points above Coventry, who's got 63. So you can you can see it. Although it's not mathematic, you can see they're going to get the top six. Oh, easy, definitely. Um, and I, I think it's, it's deserved as well. Carlos Corberon oh. has got them playing some brilliant football since he came in. Uh, they went they went on a late run last season, but left it a bit late. And this season, I think they've uh, they've been a formidable formidable team to play against. I think they've <laughs> dropped some points by getting draws where they should have getting wins. Oh, you know that. Um, but that's part and parcel of football. Uh, like I say, Corberon's doing. A Great job! They're a very good team, and they're playing some lovely stuff. I think uh, we beat them last time we were down we there. Didn't we did. It was another Dodds Masterclass yeah, where we beat them. Like. We beat them one 0 at our place. Um, and no, there, last, I, last season, Circan got a double. Double um, And we came away. Hopefully, we can do a similar thing this Saturday. Uh, but we shall wait and see. Say it's it's going to be a tough game, but I think Dodds is going to have to get a tackle right. Uh, I think he will as well, because you know he's got history against uh, West Brom, and he bought for me. West Brom. They know they're going to get the top six, so they're going to tap the foot off the gas or not. The, no, the last well, they're game not yet because they can still slip no, out of nah, it. Yeah, of if they lose two games and the teams below them win, then they're out. And they've got Preston as well, which has got which they're on sixty-three mm. points and all. You know what I mean? So Preston's going to be fighting till the very end to try and get that top six. There's a lot of teams I think from hole in tenth all the way up that yeah. can make it. So you know, games like that's going to be tough for them. Well, they are. Look, Leeds. Last time Dodds was in charge. We played Leeds and West Brom back to back. Mm -hmm. um, we've managed to get three points in both them games. We've got a point against Leeds. Is he going to do it again on Saturday against West Brom? But we'll have to wait and see. They've got some players to they watch, are. as every club has. I mean, they are a very good team. They're playing some lovely football, like I've said. Thomas DeSanti's one of them, mate. He's got 11 goals. Yeah, Thomas goals, DeSanti, 11 goals and two assists. Michael Johnson's got seven goals and one assist. Grady Diangana has seven goals and eight assists. Tom Fellows has four goals and three assists. Jed Wallace has five goals and five assists. And this one hasn't got any goals and any assists, but it's going to pain. I, I didn't, oh no, I, you're going to see. I completely it. forgot that he even oh, went there. Oh no! But it'll pain me. It'll pain you like it pain me when I read it. Jan and Veer. He played oh. in the last match. He started in the last match, and Jan and Veer is going to be playing against Sunderland for the first time. Oh. And it's, I, I, I know for a fine fact he's going to get a good reception of the Sunderland travelling oh, Sunderland definitely. supporters. Um, that uh, Thomas DeSanti and Grady have both got in the last five games two man of the match. 
performances basically. Yeah. They've both got man of the match twice in five games, so we're gonna to have to keep an eye on them too. You know he's we're going keep through. an eye on all of them. Oh, yeah, that, Listen, they're playing good football, but we've proved on Wednesday that we can hold our own against the teams that are really battling up there and the ones that are shining this season. Um, but we, consistency is a thing that's let us down. Um, Massively. The, in, in, in large spells this season. Are we going to follow our positive performance against Leeds with a shit one or are we going to build from it? Mm. Um, hopefully it's the latter. I mean, wait, that move us on to Sunderland now, I suppose. Uh, yeah, well, is he gonna, uh, is Dodds going to stick with a similar formation and similar tactics to what he did against Leeds? To be honest, Because I think West Brom do play quite similar to Leeds. To be honest, mate, I would... Um, <coughs> I wouldn't change a thing. I'm trying to think if I, I cannot see any what Styles even done all right against uh, Leeds. I cannot I cannot see anybody who I would drop. I think Styles that's a good shot. Styles did well because he, he was against Dan James and Dan James is one of the best players exactly, in the, in the championship. Um but He's fast as out. The only thing, I mean the, possibly put Elise in for Styles, but like I said, it would be maybe a bit harsh on Styles, but Elise is right. a natural left back. True. Um, and my left back centre off. Pembelia me for me has got to keep his spot. Oh, that would be so harsh if Dodds did drop Pembelia. He was amazing. I tell you what, Somerville, he had him in his back pocket all game. And now we are seeing Pembelia's pace against Leeds. Oh, yeah. Because one time when they were counting us down the left, he, Somerville's a fast player in, in his cell. And he had five yards on Pembelia. And he caught up and got him yeah. back in position. And I think he even won the ball. So for me, I'd be, be gutted if Pembelia did get dropped. A, lot, a few Sunderland supporters say that he's been tossed in at the deep end. Garden coming up against Leeds. Well, that, well, no, that's what someone commented on when we were doing the live stream, didn't they? Oh, aye, somebody aye. commented on on something, and they said how the, it was a bit harsh throwing him in the deep end against one of the best teams in the, in mm. the championship. But he held his own, yeah, uh, he and he got he got he got praise for it, which is which was well deserved. Um, like I say, team wise, to be fair, we didn't think we'd change the team after after we beat Cardiff two 0 but no, he made no. two he made two changes. That's so, the thing. so God knows what he's going to do. But <laughs> listen, Tuesday was a positive game, positive oh. performance. And Saturday, we need to push it on another level. The first time, it would be nice if Dodds did start the same, same team. Well, I, I, I imagine he is going to go for the same tactics because Leeds had to go for it because they needed the points. Oh, they did, I. Because obviously they, they've still got the chance of automatics. Yeah. West Brom still aren't cement, cemented, cemented into the playoffs, so they need the points. So I think what we will do is we'll probably have the similar tactics of letting them come and then try and get them on All the break, right. which nearly worked for us against Leeds. Um, Will it work for us on Hopefully, Saturday? Well, Hopefully mate, it will. Just touching upon what you were saying, the inconsistency in our team, it, it, and we need to rectify that like, because we are being very inconsistent. Ah, we'll when sort it, that in the summer, when it, came, when it came to the Cardiff game, where it was a really good game, really good performance, then obviously the Blackburn game, it was terrible. They've cracked on from that there and they've, they've rectified that against Bristol City and then they went even one better against Leeds. So right, so we've got nothing to play for. We just want to say that that's no, going for it, putting in decent performances. And be a pain in the arse for the teams that have still got things to play for. Oh, look, will do that Simple like you did on Dan James. <laughs> like, he <laughs> killed Dan James on the pitch. Players aren't. Seems to play the ball initially. But look, score predictions. I'll go first because I wanted to say 1 1 last time. I mean, it would have been wrong, oh, but no. you've got to do it uh, against West Brom. Bear in mind, we're drawn quite a lot lately. And so is West Brom. So I'm going to go for a uh, Sunderland 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Well, listen, if we can put in a solid performance like we did against Leeds, not quite sitting, but Dodds has said already that he's going to try and win the game, I'm going to, th I'm going to see a 1-0 Sunderland. I would be looking like a good draw and I hope <laughs> that we'll score in the 95th minute for the travelling supporters to go on ballistic. That yeah, that, that'd be good. I mean, the, be the fans travelling down, just put on a show for them, get them, get them excited, get them singing, get send them home happy, and obviously all of us watching as well. Send, let us enjoy it. End of the aye, season. Aye, aye. It's uh, compared to last season. I mean, yes, we did overachieve last season, but it has been a bit of a sour season for, compared to last season. I, I don't even know if that makes any sense, but uh, I'm sure you, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know what I mean. It's because they were started this season yeah. and we were carrying on like we did the season before, but it fell apart the second half of the season, which. It was a, a catastrophic F up, basically. <laughs> uh, oh, quickly, I forgot to mention, Will Still, apparently, uh, the team who he's with now. Lil. Um, no, Rems, Rems sorry. Is, um, they're putting things in place now for because it looks like he's leaving. Uh, they're, they're look, apparently, they're looking at potential replacements for him because I think they they're kind of accept the fact that he might be leaving in the summer. And he said he wants to uh, manage in England as well. So, is that, is that what their plan was to get him free? 
at the end of the season. <laughs> right, I, I said yeah. that, didn't I? But you did, aye, aye. We'll have to wait and see. Remember the embarrassing, pissed and yellow, ripped, torn <laughs> frigging flags that were flopping about a couple of weeks ago? They've got well, them. they're all brand new. Really, the club's watching Ovid. Yeah, 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 yeah,